Hey, lamb, it's time to get up. Yeah, it's already ten. Lucas and Miss Burdock will be here soon. And just them. Doesn't make sense to have all the packs here for all the planet. Since Lucas is the head of the Cove clan, he'll be able to relay everything back to them. He already gave us his word, Lamb. And if need be, I have no problem reminding him who the biggest dog in the yard is now. <laughs> I love that smirk on you, Lamb. Kinda makes me want to show off. Just for you. <laughs> Come on. Get up. You gotta get ready. I've got coffee on the nightstand for you. Morning, Lamb. How did you sleep? Well, at least this time my brother let you sleep. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hmm? Y yeah, except Brian and I won't be here much for the meeting. We have to go get some supplies for our trip up, and with what it sounds like we're fighting, we're going to need a bit more firepower under us. Oh, Brian and I know a guy. We'll be back before you know it. Brian? Well, he and Lopez are talking outside. how much hand-holding is going on, I think that he's finally out of the doghouse. I heard them talking a lot yesterday before the last night of the full moon. I think my brother's finally getting something through his thick skull. <laughs> Never had a doubt he would, though I think I won the bet with Mitch. Uh, the bet of how long he'd be in the doghouse. Mitch said at least another week. I said only a couple days. More lamb. Mitch, they're here. All right. Jax, let's get going. We don't want to be late. Be careful, please. Always. You just focus on getting things all set here, okay? We need that amazing mind of yours to come up with a plan that will get all of us home safe. I will. I know you will. Be back before you know it. Jax, let's go. See you soon, Lamb. Mitch, we're heading out. Be careful. You know those assholes are trigger happy. I know. You call us if anything happens. <laughs> now, who's being the overprotective one? <laughs> Just go. Blech. You two are going to make me sick. Be back soon, lame. Don't have too much fun without us. Nah, lame, it isn't dangerous. And Jax and Brian know how to handle themselves. Just, the people they're going to see are a couple of loose cannons. But... They have everything we need, which is a lot. Lopez, you bite your lip any harder, you're going to make it bleed. Hmm? Oh, sorry. You worried? No, you'll be fine. I know we will. Okay. All right, you two ready? Okay. Ms. Bordock, Mr. Clove, come in. Oh, please, Mitch. I think first names will be more than enough. Hi. 
You must be Mitch's special one. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am sorry I didn't allow you to come for our first meeting. I had to talk to Mitch about some things in private. I hope you understand. I am Claire Bordock. I am the resident witch. And you already know Lucas? Yeah, I remember this little spitfire. You're all right in my book. Anyone that has the nerve to stand up to a werewolf like you did and tell us off is all right in my book. And this is Maria Lopez. She's Brian's... Uh, um... Girlfriend. I am Brian's girlfriend. It's nice to meet you, Miss Burdock. And we already met at the meeting, Mr. Clove. Ah, yes, I remember. The cop from New York. Detective Lucas. It's a pleasure to meet you too, dear. And please, like I said, first names are fine. Is there any place we can have this meeting, Mitch? I highly doubt sitting in the foyer is a good place to plan anything. Yeah. Here, let me take your coats and then y'all can head up right into the kitchen. I figured the island is as good a place as any since we're going to be stocking up in the dining room. Why, thank you, dear. I would love some tea. I see you have your own bit of southern charm in you. Are you country folk as well? Ah, well, that's another reason to like you. And I can see why Jax took a shine to you as well. All right. Should we get started? Yes, I believe we should. All right. We're up against a syndicate of sorts, led by two wolves, Antonio and Marina del Cruz. They run an underground auction that has been kidnapping humans in the city and selling them for all sorts of purposes. Disgraceful. Trust me, I feel the same way. Let's focus, though, on how to save those humans that we can and how to stop this from continuing. Of course. Lopez? My contacts in the city have gotten us all the information they could on their hideouts and partners. These are the blueprints for the building and the list of who they are associated with. I know some of these names. I'll have a word with the witch's congregation to excommunicate them. That should limit some of their power and influence right there. And also drive them into hiding. And these? Vampire elites. They have lots of ties to the city's politicians which means my people won't be of much help. That's all right. We can work with what we've got. It's not like we don't have any other friends in the city. All right, that's all well and good. But if we're going to be spread out between multiple buildings, that's going to be a problem. I can take care of that. Once the congregation hears of this, they will be more than willing to help. Which means the hexes we can put on the buildings will be more powerful than they can scave off. Then which building would we want to corral them into? This one, by the docks. The place where you and Lamb went. Yes. And that's why it would be the perfect one. You and Mitch have already seen the inside. You know what we'll be getting into. Not to mention, it'll keep most of the fighting away from the larger crowds. Exactly. We don't want any more people getting hurt. Plus, if we time it right, we could have the sun on our side, which eliminates some of the vampire problems. What about the cops? Some of them will probably be on the lookout for us to arrest us. But I still have friends on the force that can help us get back into the city. Also, the chief's on our side, too. So he can have a distraction cause so the public eye is on that and not what we're doing. Good. 
We are going to need all the friends that we can get. And the distraction will be helpful. One less piece of magic we'll have to concentrate on. Well, we have a place. But we don't have what we're going to be fighting handled. A variety. Mitch, my pack isn't weak. We can handle vampires and other werewolves no problem. Even witches. But demons? If we're up against even one of those, we could be in a lot of trouble. I have blessings I can put on all of you to make you stronger. We should have attacked during the full moon. Or wait for the next one. We we can't do that. A bunch of large wolves running around the city would be too much to hide. The longer we wait, the more people they'll take. We are strongest then, though. And that is why the blessing I will give you will help you to channel the moon goddess's power. Claire, are you sure? You know asking the gods for help can be tricky. I am sure the moon goddess will be alright with this cause, as what those two are doing is a perversion of her original intention. Alright, then I have to ask, what about these two? What about Lam and I? Will you be staying back or coming with us? If you think I'm going to sit on the sidelines while the people I promise to protect and serve are in danger, you've got another thing coming, Dog Breath. Lopez. You would be a distraction for both Brian and Mitch, two of our best fighters. It's the logical move for both of you to stay here. Lamb is right. We know the city better than you and your pack. You need people that know that place. Mitch, see reason here. <sighs> that is a talk for my Lamb and I and Brian and Lopez to have. I do understand your concern, Lucas, but... That's not your place to decide for them. Perhaps we can move on. Think of a battle plan. Agreed. Well, I think we have everything in order. Thank you. Both of you. We'll let you know when it's time. Heed what I said, boy. You don't want their lives in your hands when the fighting starts. I'll keep that in mind, Lucas. Good night. We're not gonna stay. You know that, right? I know, I know. But y'all need to be safe. If Brian lost you, Lopez... You won't. And you don't think I would feel the same way if I lost him? But that's a conversation for him and I alone. I need to go make a few phone calls. Lamb, I know you're going to want to come. I don't even need to ask. And I know nothing I'm going to say is going to keep you from coming. Well, no, I'm not happy about it. But I trust you. You know that. Ah, uh, that might be Jackson Brian. Claire, did you forget something? Yeah. I need to give something to your lamb and Lopez. Though, I'll just give it to your special one. All right. I'm going to go call the guys. They should be back soon, but I just want to check in. Not again, Claire. Good night, Mitch. Here, take these. They're charms for the both of you that should protect you from magic. Something I meant to give you before, but forgot. Wear them at all times. And one more thing. I would tell him before he finds out on his own. I didn't mean to pry, but it's screaming off of you. There's something there. Something you are not saying. 
And you have a good heart, so I'm thinking you're not telling him because you have good intentions. But I have a good feeling you will know when to use this. Don't waste the shot. Good night. They're on their way back. What did she give you? Charms. Not bad. Those are pretty powerful if they're coming from her. Anything else? Nah, the charms were good enough. Come on. Let's get dinner started. And then when the guys get back, we can tell them what's going on. <laughs>